Hey, beautiful soul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for being here. If you want to get more Akashic Records and interdimensional spiritual content, make sure you hit that bell and that follow because I am happy to answer all sorts of questions. My name's Leo. I have been speaking with spirits since I was a child and I really refined my gifts about 11 years ago when I started to really practice deeply. So I've been an Akashic Records reader for almost 11 years now and I speak to people's spirit guides and past lives for a living. So welcome to the channel. I'm happy to answer any questions, like I said, so make sure you drop them in the comments. But today I wanted to talk to you about a message I keep getting from the eighth dimension and or the Akashic Records consciousness. And it's a little bit of a tricky subject because I think it can come across as spiritual bypassing sometimes when we're talking about different dimensional levels. So keep in mind, this is a message from the eighth dimension, meaning if something's going on for you in the third dimension that's really real and tough and challenging for you, it is not meant to diminish that or say that it's not real or it's not painful or anything like that. Um, it is very real and it is very painful. And when we talk about these things, it's not meant to bypass. It's just meant to give a different perspective from a different dimension. Um, when you get into the spirit world, certain things matter a lot more and certain things matter a lot less. So the Akashic Records has its own consciousness, which is kind of like the overarching consciousness of the database for the universe. And because it's above the seventh dimension, it is a benevolent, loving realm, and I can access it through a spiritual world that is also benevolent and loving. So I've become quite good friends with the Akashic Hall over the last few years, and they've really helped me get valuable insight on things. The Akashic Records has said to me many times in the last few weeks, freedom is absolute. You cannot have partial freedom. And so I really want that to sink in for you. Um, I think when we first hear it, we're like, well, what do you mean? Like, you know, I got fired from my job. I didn't choose that. Um, you know, there's a pandemic. I didn't choose that. Like, boop a doop a doo All these things we can think of that are going wrong in our life. And like I said, it is a very real third dimensional reality for you. And there are moments where it feels like it's out of our control. But when we realize that we're an interdimensional being having a human experience, so there's levels of consciousness of ours tethered through the different dimensions reaching us in the third dimension where kind of like our main lifetime consciousness is, it starts to make a little more sense. And so from an eighth dimensional perspective, from the Akashic Records, everything's happening all at once because time is not linear from an outside the fourth and fifth dimension perspective. So in the third dimension, it's linear. In the fourth dimension, it's linear, but you can travel through time. And then once you get into the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth dimension, it stops being as linear and starts being more of like a web or a circle or like flowing energy. Um, it's kind of hard to conceptualize for us. But because this is true, there's less of a pressure in the eighth dimension to quote, get things right. It's more of an explorative fun situation, even though that sounds kind of weird. Um, it, it's fun in the sense of we are a piece of source experiencing a human experience. And so we get to experience who we are by witnessing things and events that feel like what we're not. What I mean by that is if we're a being of love and light, if we carry the essence of source of love, of light, and we have an experience that makes us feel like yuck, like that sucks, gross, that's garbage, I hate that. <laughs> we're experiencing contrast. And through that contrast, we can remind ourselves who we truly are. So if I see someone doing something that I think is out of integrity and I really value integrity and uh, being honest and things like that, then that's going to make me feel yucky and out of alignment. And this is such an important concept because when we get back to the freedom is absolute thing, it's it's an empowering moment when it really sinks in. So I'm starting to plant those seeds for you here in this video is that you cannot have partial freedom, just like you cannot have partial love. Love is not a gradient. You can have different experiences of love, but love is just love. Freedom is just freedom. And when you start to realize that we're interdimensional beings having a human experience, our meat suits, our little skin and bones and flesh and all that seem a lot less restricting. So I really have made this video to remind you of how powerful you are and you can really start to create your own reality 
because you are a piece of source and because freedom is absolute. So yes, there are constructs that we're living in within the third dimension that make things, you know, a little more difficult to make things happen like that. Um, but it's not impossible, you know? And if freedom's absolute, it kind of makes you think about like, why did I decide to experience these things? And it takes you from a victim mentality of things happen to me and I can't control it and I'm just along for the ride and I hate everything or how dare people be so mean. I don't understand why they're so mean. That's a separatism, right? You can't be unity in one if you're blaming the other person for doing things to you in that kind of a mentality. And like I said, there's multiple layers going on. So sometimes I get stuck in my third 3D thinking and I'm like, oh, I can't believe that person did that to me. So I'm not perfect. I like no worries if you think that way sometimes or you're still in that mindset. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, freedom is absolute. We're exploring what it's like to be a human. We're exploring what it's like to express this piece of source. But when we blame others for doing things to us, it really disempowers us. It really puts us in this, I'm not a piece of source. I have no power in this situation kind of a vibe. And it makes it so much harder to manifest things and actually create the reality that we want to create. So I have a video about life contracts and that might be a really beautiful thing to watch next because it'll help to explain how you can have freedom <laughs> and also have things that seem like destiny or seem like things are happening to you. But essentially we make life contracts um, before we incarnate here with like a basic roadmap, a basic plan for what our souls want to experience. And we can change this as we go. We just, all the dimensional versions of ourselves have to be in alignment with that. Um, but I want you to start thinking about karma as less of like a punishment or like a consequence and more of like an exploration. Like karma is there until we learn a lesson and I don't even like the word learn a lesson, like more like have an experience. So karma is there until we have an experience that we would like to experience. So if we want to learn how to forgive or experience forgiveness in a new way, we might create karma for ourselves that mean that we have to forgive ourselves um, or forgive others, you know. And you don't have to forgive either, right? Like we have free will, but absolute freedom has to be absolute. You cannot have partial free will. And so I really want to start to let that permeate in. It sounds scary at first, but the more I've sat with this concept, the more I realize how loving it is when the Akashic Records told this to me, it was deeply, deeply loving. So I really wanna send that loving vibe your way. <laughs> and I'll leave you with that, but just know how loved you are and how powerful you are. And if we really want to co-create a world where there's more love and more compassion and more grace and more understanding, I would challenge you to start embodying it. I would challenge you to use that absolute freedom to change your mindset um, or embrace the mindset you have or embrace a little bit more love, whatever you want to do, but realizing how powerful you are because you're a piece of source. So start creating the world you want. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and make sure you hit that bell and that subscribe if you want to learn more about the Akashic Records and feel free to drop a comment down below as well. Ciao.